So you might be trying to figure out how you can archive messages on your iPhone. Now, unfortunately for us, there's not a native way to go ahead and do this, but there are some ways you can actually kind of simulate this feature and somewhat kind of get the same type of feature as archiving, but it does kind of require some work on your end. So for one, if you want to like basically not see a message every single time you go into your main panel here, the best thing you can do for the most part is to actually go through either one, you can take screenshots of the whole entire message or specific parts of the message that you want, and then basically delete that message from your specific display. So you can go here, you know, delete them, you know, take screenshots of whatever you want to do, and then go from there and delete the message entirely. That is one option that you actually have. Now, if you don't want to do that or that's taking too much time or whatever the case is, the other option that you actually do have is you can actually swipe to the side on the message and you can actually delete that message that you have. So for example, you can swipe to the side and you can click delete and you can click delete again. Now what's going to happen here, you might be wondering like, why would you want to delete the message? Well, because these messages are basically stored in the background for 30 days until they're actually deleted. So if we click on our edit button on the top right, you can see that we can see these show recently deleted options. We can click on the show recently deleted option right here, and that will basically bring us into this panel. So now what you can do is within 30 days, you just have to check this within 30 days. All you want to do is recover this message right here. So click recover. And then what you can do, that message will come up back as it normally would. And then you can just come back and then delete this message again after like 30 days or something like that. And then you can just keep doing that over and over again to all the messages that you no longer want to see. So that's an option that you have. It's super basic. Again, there's not a native way to archive messages, but that is one way that you can kind of do it on your iPhone. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.